Hello, and I thought I'd just do one final little um, experiment myself. And I got a really good set of settings here. So I made the, the values minus 0.15 and 0.3 and used a gamma function just to increase the gamma ever so slightly. And we are starting to get really good results. I also should have mentioned previously you can do both the convex and concave shapes. Here I've just got the convex so it looks like it's worn on the edges only. If I make that concave it will only appear in the recesses which is, is not exactly what we want. So just to show you, there we go, there's the convexness. Um, and I can do a quick demonstration using mixing this using the, the new um, patina shader. So again, I'm just going to plug that straight into, um, we've got a radius, an offset, and samples here. I'll just plug this straight into our, let's see, we want uh, dirt in the corner. Now, obviously the roughness, uh, is showing up here that's why it looks a little bit odd but just to show you we have a little white band so of course we want to increase the radius to maybe 40 millimeters and increase the offset slightly because we're starting to see little bits of the edge so I'll just make that perhaps five millimeters or maybe just two. Otherwise we won't get this little bit of recess here. So again, we can plug our procedural uh, in. Let's, I'll just reuse, reuse this one here. So I'll make the, plug the value into the radius. And I don't need to use negative values in this particular case. So I'll just make that perhaps 0 0.02 to, to 0.3. And it's just going to subtly alter it. Perhaps I'll make that higher. This is just creating a little bit of a worn texture in the recesses. That's looking quite pleasant actually. So what I'll do is I'll again use a mixer node. Go to uh, tools, mixer. Plug that into the background. That into the, let's say the opacity. And plug that into our base color. And what that's going to do is mix in the foreground color using the opacity. So of course I don't want it to be white or gray. I want it to be maybe a dark, darker orange than we have. Something a bit muddy like that. Just a very subtle effect. I'll just close all these windows so you can see the effect happening. And you should be able to see a sort of slightly stained dark look in the recesses while that's cleaning up. Just give it a few minutes to tidy. But I think that gives you an idea of the types of things that you can do using the new patina and uh, one edge shading. There we go, it's starting to kick in. It's tidying up and we have a very, very subtle darkening in the recesses. Rather than just a simple occlusion, it's got a subtle radius effect. All right, uh, thank you. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this second part of the tutorial uh, and it gives you some more ideas on what you can do to your own models. Okay, thank you.